All right, guys, so we're going to show the uh, Altel Ultra with the scope. So I want to show you that uh, the scan tool is, there's no wires connected to it at all, okay? So there's no wires, and right now we have the wireless scope module here. So we're on battery power. We have our two Pico leads. I didn't use the Altel leads. These are Pico leads, as you can probably tell. All right, and then we're in the CAN bus. We're in CAN high, CAN low with the CAN do breakout box. And that's running right inside of, of the car here, All right? <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the folder, uh, not to the folder, sorry, um, to the car. And we're gonna do data communication, CAN bus, high speed that's what it should look like right there okay and then it tells you where to pin what to connect where to connect i'm using a breakout box an example uh and any other pertinent information that you need so uh pretty cool so also the parameters that's how it's set up so it tells you uh minus five volts to plus uh, DC, channel A, channel B. Uh, you have help over here, which gives you the how-to and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and press that over there, get rid of that. So now we have the full screen up, right? And now all we're going to do is we're going to hit play on this. All right, so there we go. We got the uh, CAN bus going. There's our signals. Again, all my wires are right here. So nothing's, nothing's coming over there. That's it. Right. So we're going to go ahead and stop the scope and we're going to kind of zoom in and get our waveform. So there you go. So you can zoom in, uh, you can bring it down, uh, you can see if you're in your, your two and a half volt range. Yep, so at 2.42. Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can go back. Go back whatever frames you want. Zoom in again. There you go. Uh, you got your triggers. Uh, so again, I just I wanted to kind of show you this so that you can see that you can run the scope uh, with no bat with no uh, no wires hooked up. So that's fast enough to run with the CAN bus high and low on a wireless scope. So that's important because when you're scoping stuff, you know, let's say your car's up on a lift or, uh, um, you know, or you, you just don't want people tripping over the wires, it's pretty slick. So, and the way they do this is, this is, uh, this, this is a VC, uh, the v, VCMI and it gets its own charge. So it's like charging a WPS 500 or whatnot. It's almost the same principle. And like I said, you can use the Pico cords I just had these available and you got your red green blue and yellow and again it's you know I got the breakout box on here and it's just running to, to inside the car so uh, that's it just a quick video I just want to show you how cool this was uh, also it does have a multimeter which you can always uh, also check resistance as well so you can graph resistance right um, so if for some reason also you want to run the scan tool, you can go ahead and do that and open up the scan tool, you know, or you can go and open your multimeter up. So now that's your multimeter is open wirelessly. So pretty slick to have the wireless multimeter. Try to get you out of the way here. So You got your amplitude, your uh, DC voltage, so. And then also, uh, you can switch back to the uh, mini VCI or the VCI 100. Uh, you can use the uh, J box, uh, whatever you want. Or you can just stick with the J box VCI, VCMI combo that comes with the Altel Ultra, so. Uh, that's it, guys. I just wanna show you again, quick video. Can run, can high, can low wirelessly.